All right, close your eyes. Imagine a wonderful place where you can get together with friends, look at photos that are close to your heart, listen to music that gives you goosebumps. Okay, open your eyes. Where could you find such a marvelous place? I guess you could do it at home. But if your friends are in different places and you don't want to risk Johnny spilling beer on your Game of Thrones couch again, hate Johnny, then you need Discord. Let me show you how to use it. Hello, my friend. I'm Ian Corzine, your YouTube community lawyer. Today, we're gonna to be talking about how to use Discord when you're not a gamer. You're just a regular person. You like games. You just can't figure out what each of these buttons does. Which one ducks bullets again? All right, let's just get to it. You start with Discord by joining a Discord server. You join a server by going to discord.com or you can also click an invitation link sent to you by another Discord member. It's important to remember that you can use Discord in your browser, desktop app, or mobile app. What is a Discord server? Well, it's just a digital place for your friends to go chat via voice, via video, via text. There are thousands of public and private invite-only servers and you can join an unlimited amount. There are public Discord servers for you to join in almost any possible interest you can think of, like photography, self-improvement, dating, even Ariana Grande. Been there all day, now you got me walking side to side. The best way to find public servers that fit your interest area is to go to websites like discord.me or disboard.org or discordservers.com. I'll put links to these websites in the description section below. In a minute, I'm gonna get back to how to use Discord, but I wanted to tell you why I think that Discord is the future of online social collaboration, whether you're a gamer or not. 90 million users can't be wrong. Discord is absolutely blowing up with over 14 million logins per day. Discord will soon be the fastest online social collaboration platform in the world. Why does everyone love Discord so much? Well, for one, it combines the features of Slack, Skype, Zoom, Facebook, Instagram, all in one place for free. Yes, you can voice chat, you can video chat, you can text chat, you can screen share, you can video teleconference, you can even share that hilarious meme. You're so funny. For two, it's great for YouTubers because Discord integrates YouTube in its system. So you can announce, you can share, and you can discuss in real time your videos. And when people watch your videos on the Discord platform, those views count towards your total views on your YouTube channel. For three, it's a simple and secure, evidently has 256-bit encryption, and stable platform that rarely goes down, unlike Facebook last week. It has no storage limitations and you can access Discord on your desktop, through a browser, or a mobile device. And it is an open platform with outside developers expanding the music and the video capabilities of Discord on a daily basis. I love Discord and I especially love the channels feature. Once you are a member of the server, you can see and access the channels of that server. So you can see a server's channels on the left-hand side of the Discord app. I always think of channels as rooms in a house, whereas the house is the server and the rooms are the channels. You can see in my server that I have three main channel categories. First one is text channels, second one is voice channels, and then the third is YouTube channels. Under each category, I have the various channels. So chat central is used for just general discussion, rules, uh, is used for pr providing some rules for people who are on the server. Admin only is for the admins to be able to talk privately. And mods only is also for the moderators to be able to talk privately. Then we have a voice channel. Announcements is where I make announcements uh, for my YouTube channel. Videos is where I post my videos. Legal templates is where I have legal templates for you to download. And then giveaways is a channel that I use for giving advance notice of giveaways that we're doing on the channel. That's what's so great about Discord. You can organize the information and the discussion by topic. It's not like a mishmash of communications like you have on other social media platforms. As you can see, switching between channels is really easy. You just click on the channel and it takes you there. It's also easy to switch between servers. Here's the Philip DeFranco server, the Chipster server, and then again, my server. Now, each channel has various settings that you can alter by going over to this gear icon, clicking on it. You can obviously change the channel name, the channel topic you can enter in, the permissions. This is what each of the members who
who are visiting the channel can and can't do. Invites, that's how you invite someone to be a participant in the channel. And then webhooks is a really awesome thing that I gotta get into, maybe make a video on, where it allows you to get real time data from other applications like Twitter, which comes and publishes it to your Discord server. So it's an awesome little function that I'm gonna get more into. I think I'm gonna have my Twitter feed on that. The owner of a Discord server can create certain roles, let's say a moderator, that have different functions per channel. I'm gonna create a new video coming up where I'll show you how to set up your server and how to assign roles and permissions. Next on the agenda is the Discord text field. This is definitely the coolest text field I've ever seen. Obviously on the Discord server, if you're gonna do a text chat, you're just gonna say, hi, my name is Ian, and then that's easy enough. You can call out and do a mention by adding the at symbol and then typing the first few letters of a member of your server. So I'm gonna ping Peggy here uh, and write her a message. And then to DM one of your members, you can just go over, let's say go over to Brandon here, right click there and then go to message. And that allows you to privately message, in this case, Brandon of This Is Tech Today uh, with whatever you wanna talk about. So what's really cool about the Discord text field is that you can just drag, let's say it's a photo, it's a goofy photo of me here, right into the area, add a comment, Oops, I can't type. And then upload, and then it'll upload the image to the exact place where you are in the, in the chat. And you can do that with documents. Here's a PDF, a Facebook PDF. Again, Facebook trends, or you don't, you don't even need to add a comment, you can just upload it. So that makes it really easy for you to incorporate not only audio files, video files, text files, uh, any can file you almost can imagine. The limit is eight megabytes unless you pay for the Nitro plan, which is $9.99 a month. I think it increases it to 50 megabytes. Also, Discord has a collection of GIFs that you can add to your chat, which is awesome. And then you can also put some emojis. There's a lot of selection of emojis here and you get special <laughs> emojis if you belong to uh, various different servers here. Tipster has some and Franco Lead has some. And then it's really easy once you've made posts on Discord for you to click on these three little vertical dots and then you can pin a comment in my case because I'm the owner of the server. You can edit the comment or you can delete it. So I'm gonna delete this one because that photo is horrendous. And so yeah, now I'm gonna edit this one by clicking on the three dots and hitting edit, typing in good morning. So it's really easy to be able to adjust your posts after you make them. Finally, you can add what's called markdown text, which is a means to signify that you want the following words to be either bolded, italics, underlined, strike through. It's really easy to do. If you wanna do bold, you just click on, you just push on uh, two of those star asterisk things and then write good morning and then finish it with the asterisk and then push return and then it does good morning, but he bolds it. Another one is outline. You can go under underscore underscore good morning underscore underscore and then you have an underline good morning. So that's a way to kind of emphasize your text when you're chatting with uh, various members of your Discord server. Discord does voice chat really well. This stems from the fact that it was originally created for gamers. Gamers need a reliable chat with minimal latency. Discord's latency feels to me instantaneous, which is great for business meetings, for team communications and event planning. By default, when you go into a voice channel, your microphone is hot. You can see right here, it says voice connected. If you wanna change that, so you have a push to talk, so that means that you get a key on your keyboard that you hold down whenever you wanna talk in a voice chat, you just go down to the gear icon right here, you go over to voice and video, and then you can click on push to talk, which will give you uh, a dialog box allowing you to enter in the key that you wanna use for your voice chat. Right now, I wanna keep my microphone hot, so I'll leave it on voice activity. In order to get people on your voice channel, you can just use the text field, you know, and write at one of your members and say, hey, jump, jump on the voice chat, or you can also go over to one of your members here, call Clutter Fairy, and you can right click 
and then you can go to this, which is call, and you can call them and say, hey, jump on the voice chat with me. Another cool thing is when you have a voice channel going, you right click on the person's name and you can mute, you can deafen, uh, you can change their nickname. Mute means basically stop any sound from coming from your computer to the chat. Deafen means stop any sound coming from the computer to you or the sound coming from your microphone into the chat. The big thing to remember that I had a hard time remembering was when you're in voice chat, so I'm in this voice channel right now, the general voice channel, before you leave, you always gotta remember to hang up and there's this little phone icon at the bottom that says disconnect. You have to disconnect, otherwise your mic will be hot for the entire time that you're on Discord, which may or may not be a good thing. I wanna to talk to you about Discord's friends feature. For the last few minutes, we've been talking about how do you interact with members of a given server, but what if you have friends on Discord who are not members of your server? Can you still speak to them? Yes. Discord allows you to maintain a friends list regardless of their admission to the servers you belong to. To access the friends feature, just go to the Discord home button right there, and then click on friends, and your whole list of friends appears on the right-hand side. See my whole list? I have one friend. Help me. To begin to accrue friends, which obviously I need to do, you go over to, in your server, to the right-hand side, you right-click on the name of the server member, and then you say, add, and then you click on add friend and that will send a friend request to the member of the server and then you can build up your list of friends. You know, what's so great about friends, of course, is that they exist regardless of membership to a server. So you can have a whole list of friends that maybe aren't members of your servers that you follow, um, but that you're still your friends. You can DM, you can video teleconference, you can do audio calls, you can share information with them. Another way to get friends is to go into this little search blank right here and if you know your friend's username for Discord, you can type that in and you can find friends and click on add friend and then that will be added to your friends list. Also, I just wanted to mention a few functions that you may wanna know. If you wanna change the appearance of your Discord server, you just click on the gear icon there and then you go over to appearance and you can have a light theme. I like the dark, but you can have a light theme. You can have a, we do cozy, but you could do a compact fit, which looks like this. So a little bit more tight. You see just the text of the chat, uh, or you can go back. In my case, I really like the dark uh, and the cozy, which is what we see here. Another thing that you may wanna do because your Discord server may start getting busy is change the notifications. And how you do that is go to the gear icon and then go over here to notifications and you can change all the notifications for your servers that you are a member of. So a good example is, uh, text-to-speech notifications, you can say never. Uh, various different actions on the server you can turn on and off. Uh, they'll, make them, they'll make the sound that they make. But it's very important because over time, I have a small server here, but over time when there's a lot of members of your server, you may get a lot of notifications and it may inter you know, interrupt your workflow. You can also incorporate various social media apps into your Discord server. To do it, just go to the gear icon, go up to connections, and then you can see the various different social media platforms that you can incorporate into Discord. I've chosen to incorporate Facebook, Spotify, and then YouTube. It basically helps you better fill out your profile. Additionally, there's certain functions you can do when you have integration, like with a YouTube channel, I guess you can make a Discord server for only your subscribers, maybe to encourage them to subscribe to your YouTube channel. So over time, you can use these integrations better. I think that if other members have a premium Spotify account. You can send them songs in the text field to listen to, and then you can jointly listen to music on Spotify. So again, there's certain functions that you can have for uh, your integration of your various social media apps. And I also would love for you to check out this video right here. I think it'll help you be even more successful with video and social media. If you're new to the channel, come join us. Hit the like button and consider subscribing. Also, I do live chats, give you free legal templates and advance notice of giveaways in our very own Discord server. There's a link to the server in the description section below. All right, that's enough for today. See you next time.